Now, a junior school in Greater Manchester thinks it's found an inspiring solution to help improve literacy rates. Boys lag behind girls in reading at Heathfield Primary in Bolton, but they're now helping close the gap by getting children to write blogs. And they found that the quality of the children's writing has improved dramatically. Our North West of England reporter Judy Hobson is at the school. Judy? Yes, as you say, an age-old problem that boys tend to lag behind girls in literacy. Now, here at Heathfield Primary, they think they might have found a solution. The children here can write on the school website, there's a, an area for blogging, and uh, they can write about anything, and they can do that in class or at home as well. And what the staff here have found is that children tend to write quite a lot when they're at home. Uh, year six, they're the uh, pupils that have just left, they made two years' progress in writing in just one year. So it shows what kind of improvement uh, the school here thinks blogging has made. Well, I'm here with David Mitchell, the deputy headmaster, Nicola Wiggins, who's a teacher, and Thomas Davies, who's 11. Thomas, do you blog? Yeah, I blog a lot, actually. What yeah. sort of things do you blog about? Just anything, what's on my mind, what I think about things, just, you know, stuff. And has it changed you, do you think? Yeah, I've become a lot better behaved. I'm getting in trouble a lot less than I used to. I don't believe that, really. Yeah. Why do you think it's made you better behaved? Just kept my mind off it and I, I'm thinking about other stuff. I'm not thinking about getting in trouble, not thinking about things I shouldn't be doing. I'm thinking about blogging and it's like just keeping my mind off it. So you enjoy writing when you're blogging? Yeah, I do. I enjoy writing a lot. Um, but I do struggle for writing for long periods sometimes. But this is definitely helping? Yeah, definitely. Nicola Wiggins, you're a teacher of Year 4. Have you noticed a big improvement in your pupils? Absolutely, especially the Year 4 boys. Um, they're going home writing long stories on their own and they're not just long stories that need us to do lots of editing. They're actually long stories which are quality work. And also the children who maybe find learning a bit more difficult, they're going home writing thoughts, um, they're involving in maths problems, so it's the, the stratosphere is wider than just the writing. It's them as learners becoming more confident to participate in something as well. And I suppose they're writing about things they're interested in. Absolutely. And the good thing is that they then get comments from people all over the world um, on how to improve things. And it's not just us, because we constantly are reinforcing the same things. Other people reinforce different things. So it's very nice. And you start to see it then, then in the literacy books as well as on the blog. So it's good. From all over the world. So other people read the blogs from all sorts of countries? Oh, yeah. We've got a good system up at the moment. It's something called quad blogging. So children go on each other's blogs. And we're linked with a school in Adelaide. Um, and those children are on our blogs at the moment we've had I think I'm just Hong Kong Sweden all over the world it's fantastic David Mitchell this all began really didn't it not last winter but the winter before when the children couldn't get into school because of the snow that's right yes it was um, back in January 2010 and uh, we were off school for a week due to the snow and um, we just threw ideas out there on how we could hold lessons online for the children because we knew they were eager to uh, to, to still learn. Um, so we held some a couple of lessons that week and the children kind of wanted more and they kept on asking. So we did other lessons online in the evening and kind of the, the cool factor of writing kind of increased as the uh, as the months went on. And now we've got, you know, a blog, you know, I think we're getting on 100,000 hits just for the year six blog at the minute. The whole school site's looking at half a million hits over this year. Um, over 100 countries have visited and 2,000 comments just on the Year 6 blog itself. And is it across the board that children are doing better? I mean, you're saying boys are doing a lot better than they used to, but all years as well? Yeah, definitely. The, the, all through all the years, uh, they are. The, the boys are, I think, they're leading uh, the writing and the stories that they're doing. Some of the boys in Year 6 are producing 5,000 words, creative pieces, um, sequels to those and another sequel and the girls are mirroring this and there's that element of competition that you know is great to see in the classroom across the whole school. What is it though about boys? Uh, is it the, the fact it's technology? I mean why haven't they improved before? Well it's a uh, it's an ongoing problem I think every school's got that boys underperform girls in writing. Um, they they are, they're, cap they're very capable and I think once you throw in a real audience and the, how instant blogging is that as soon as a teacher's approved a post when the child goes to bed they understand that half the world is still awake and by the time they wake up in the morning they've got 30, 40 um, comments waiting for them and it's, it's instant and uh, it's real. Well thank you very much to you all for talking to us today and I know you can uh, log on to the school website and read the blog so Thomas I shall be reading yours.
Okay, thanks. <laughs> thank you. Judy, thank you very much. That's our Northwest of England reporter, Judy Hobson.